What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I forgot to do an intro to this video, so I'm just gonna make a little quick one. In today's video, we're gonna be changing how the door cards look like this to something more like this, which looks way better, makes the interior look a lot more nicer, and let me show you guys how to do it. So let's get into the video. And before we get into the video, guys, please hit that subscribe button. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers. And as you guys know, I like doing giveaways once we hit a little milestone. So just hit that subscribe button and thank you guys for watching. So we're gonna be replacing this black leather with the red Alcantara slash suede. So in order to take off the door panel, you first you're gonna have to take off this little plastic piece right here. So what you're gonna end up doing is pulling the handle towards you. You're gonna insert the plastic trim right in the middle between this plastic part and the door lock. Right in there, you can see it move. You can see all the little clips that it has right there. So I just put this aside. And you guys could use a screwdriver like this if you wanted to. But if you have a little impact gun, it just makes it a little bit easier. Got this for $100 with two batteries and a charger. Pretty good deal. For video's sake, I'm just gonna use the screwdriver because that's most likely what everybody has at home. And that's what we removed. So I just put this aside. We're gonna be removing another bolt right now. Next thing you're gonna remove is this one right here in the little door pocket handle. This panel removal tool was a little too thick. So Flathead was able to do the job just well. Once again, it has the little clips right here that just pop right out. Then it exposes two more screws that you can unscrew. Then you're gonna remove the courtesy light. And you're gonna put this away and this is a perfect time to change your halogen bulb to LED, either to a white LED or the blue LED like the one I have right now. Next thing you're gonna do is grab the sides of the panel and you're gonna pop it towards you, so. Next thing you're gonna do is remove the little speaker connectors and then the door window switch connector. Next thing we're gonna be doing is the door locks. So the little switch that locks and locks and unlocks and then your door handle. I mean these two little metal uh, wires, you just pop it upwards and outwards. You just pop them outwards and then they come out. like that just remember which one goes where which is black on bottom white on top and here is for anybody wanting to replace their speakers you could go ahead and replace them just three bolts and for anybody wanting to work inside their door jam in case you want to put some more sound deadening this is how it looks like seems like it's starting to rain now so I got to put this inside and we'll start working on the inside and here is the panel that we're gonna be working on specifically this little area right here so let's go ahead and flip and just like that, we're gonna be removing this section right here where all these bolts are. And there's gonna be a few pieces where it's actually kind of like melted plastic that we're gonna try to cut that off. But first, let's start off with the easy stuff, which is the bolts. Get the little like. Next thing we're gonna be doing is removing this little white part. So all you're gonna do is just kind of like pull it out. Just kind of grab it like this, and then just pull it out like that. I'm gonna do this side as well. Just set it aside. And this is the whole area we're gonna be working on today. Next up is remove the rest of these screws right over here on this side. And I didn't make it work. Next thing we're gonna do is grab these. You can get these really cheap on Amazon. I got them for like 10 bucks. 
I use them when I'm making my harnesses for the 22 BRZ fog lights. Subtle plug right there in case you guys want to order any. It's a plug and play harness that connects to your OEM fog lights for the 22 and up BRZs. Saw another guy make a video. Um, shout out to you, dude. I forgot your name or channel. But he was like drilling it out. I decided instead of doing all that using power tools any or Dremels or any of that, this is the cheapest and most effective way. What they do is basically it's a tab like this. Um, but at the end they glue it and the way they glue it is just using a lot of heat that melts the plastic and it makes a seal so all you need is like little sharp tools like this um, it could be like an exacto knife it could be an exacto knife scissors or little pliers like this that have the sharp edges and you just cut away the material and then you pop it out like that so it's an even better fit that's one way of doing it there's multiple ways but i find this to be the easiest yeah so i removed everything and it should just pop right out there is a little tab right here that you just push in there's another tab on this And I totally forgot, but you also gotta remove these two right here. Meow. Just like that. So what we're gonna be doing is grabbing the fabric. Before we do that, you guys can see that this material, that this material just peels away and that's how it is. It kind of folds inwards over here through the top and they use some type of spray adhesive just like the one we're going to be using today. So let's go ahead and just start peeling it out. super soft material on the inside and leather material on the outside and then you can feel the adhesion it's not super sticky but same time I wouldn't eat off it so what we're gonna be doing right here is we're gonna be tracing the fabric and using this as the outline So we're gonna be using the Gorilla Spray adhesive and we're just gonna coat the whole thing. Everything seems pretty good. I kind of ended up using my wallet to kind of squeegee it through. And then you could tell some little areas like over here. I used a little bit too much glue, but right there it should dry up and it should be just as good as the rest of it. And the key viewers could tell that right here, when I put the adhesive, I put the suede a little bit too high up and I wasn't able to pull it down. So it is a little bit higher up, but this is why you always give yourself a little bit extra wiggle room. Where's the whole piece and this area right here, you won't really see it when you actually put it on, on the door panel. So let's go ahead and install it. Then once we put everything in place, we're gonna be using the old bolts and put them back on. As always, you can use the screwdriver, but I am pressed for time, so I'm just gonna be using the little impact, or I don't know what you wanna call it, little driver tool. Once again, guys, honestly, investing this saves you guys a lot of time. I'm not even sponsored by DeWalt, but you could get a Harbor Freight one, Milwaukee, whatever. I just think for $100 with two batteries and a charger, it's a really good price point. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is put the little cover back on after we put all the screws. Remember, you don't have to over tighten it, just snug. We're just gonna put it over it. Then you can go to Harbor Freight, Home Depot, I went to Home Depot, got this for like $14.50, and it comes with 260 of them. I know I'm gonna use this, especially for my 
side skirts and like anything else I'm going to install in the car later on. I know I'm going to need self tappers just in case. So you can grab whatever you need. I just grab these just because you don't need anything too big. Then we're going to be drilling it onto the spots where we removed it. But one thing I'm going to do is obviously since the hole's a little bit bigger than the actual screw. I'm just going to kind of like off center it a little bit and make a new hole. Okay, so don't use power tools just in case these bolts are a little too long, which they shouldn't be, but you don't want it to go through. Such a simple design. So we got that. Next thing to do is to connect the wires that we unplugged from down there, which are going to be down over here. Other than that, guys, we could go ahead and just put it back on. And then what you're going to do is just kind of smack it. Smack it with your purse a little bit, guys. After that, you're just going to repeat the process of putting the bolts back on. The ones that go in here, and then the one that goes right here where the lever is. So let's go ahead and do the driver's side. Let's do it really quick. So what do you guys think of it? It looks pretty good. I was a little skeptical. I was like, man, red might be a little too bright for this interior since everything's black. But those little red accents look really good. It kind of matches with the red suede. And overall, I really like the design and the feel i'm honestly liking the suede uh i'm honestly liking the suede feel more than the actual alcantara that comes with the car just because it's a little bit softer and it just feels better let me know what you guys think if you like it um, or if you're thinking about doing it on your car other than that guys thanks for watching please hit that subscribe button and i'm really thankful for you guys watching these videos and right now i'm pulling up to work so I'll be here for the next maybe seven, eight hours. And look at this guy cutting me off. It's like, bro, don't you know that I get the right of way because it's a straight freaking idiot, bro. But one thing I'm excited for today, I'm actually going to my first comedy show. Um, I always wanted to go to like a small comedy show, but it's Joy Coy. He's coming to San Jose. And I don't think you could say no to Joy Coy. So I'm taking my girlfriend to go watch him and should be pretty chill. Tickets weren't too expensive, so that's one thing I'm really glad about. So thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, good vibes, peace.